Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, we are working more on my Disney Dreamlight Valley Town Core build. So if you missed the last video of this, don't worry, I have it linked in the video's description. Basically, we are gonna be turning my whole entire plaza into like a townsy, small town sort of vibe. Today, I may be working over by Remy's restaurant, which I'm really excited to finally get done as he's been kind of lonely without any decorations. I still have a long ways to go on this plaza as a build, I still need to grind for a lot of materials. So some areas will not be finished today. There may be a part three video, we'll have to see. I do plan to add some really nice final touches once I find some items and unlock obviously more materials. I'm also planning to do some other plaza builds like you're seeing today in the future, just like a start to finish process. And I think this would be really great to offer because not everyone has the exact same style on Disney Dreamlight Valley. So if you're looking for more content like this, let me know in the comments section. Let me know some other themes for the plaza you would love to see. I'm really interested in the idea of something either a little bit more natural for the plaza or possibly even something more princessy and elegant, but of course your feedback matters. So let me know in the comments what you would hope to see first. So in a perfect world, which I don't obviously have today, there's a specific item I really wanted to have for this plaza build, and that is the Brick Monsters Inc. house. This is a skin available in the premium shop and I really wanted that just because I felt like it would really add to the townsy vibes I'm trying to go for but obviously I do not have that so I'm gonna be doing a filler slash temporary build by Remy's restaurant just to give you an idea on what you could do over here while you wait you could obviously even do a really nice park area with like the fountain item I mean there are so many different other ways you could transition from Remy's you could even maybe do a little garden center Anyways, I do hope that today's video brings you a ton of Disney Dreamlight Valley inspiration. And of course, let me know some future biomes you hope to see on my channel fully decorated in the future. So for our restaurant build today, I actually had a completely different plan for this whole entire location, but Scrooge's shop has not been kind to me. And of course, gift bags are also not kind to me. So I could not get in basically my dream build for this area. But of course, we need to get this whole entire plaza fully decorated because I know many of you are waiting for this to be finished and you're following the build process for your own valley. So in the short summary, I'm really wanting to do another plaza build, like a start to finish like we discussed in the beginning of this video. And I'm hoping that by then, Scrooge's shop will give me the items that I really want so I can show you what I really wanted this build to look like. Do I think that today's build turned out awful? Absolutely not. It just wasn't the way I was hoping for because items that I really wanted didn't show up. But of course, I still tried to make the build as functional as possible. The whole goal with this plaza series for the Townsy vibe was to make everything as functional as possible because I know that we want to get around the plaza easily. We don't want to be basically stuck in different locations and not be able to reach mining deposits. I just wanted to offer a really user-friendly layout, especially for Switch users that they could recreate and be able to access everything to do their daily tasks and obviously gather resources on. Keep in mind behind Remy's, I do have that mining deposit blocked off because I wanted the whole entire location there to be fenced in. So if you need to access that mining deposit, you could easily do just like a little natural path leading up to it, or even just, you know, maybe do some flowers over there. Definitely, you know, make the changes as needed for your own situation on your own valley. This is just how I decided to decorate it. So now that our main base is finally done, the fun part starts, we get to finally decorate the restaurant, but we're also gonna be making use of recipes to decorate on our tables, like actual food. And I thought this would be really fun because I think some of the food items are absolutely adorable. So I'm really excited to make use of these. I did have an issue with a table glitch. Basically, like every time I placed a food item on a table and after I got out of decorating mode, it would like completely vanish. So there will be a couple transitions when that does happen, but I thought decorating with food items would be really fun. So I didn't use all the recipes that were actually cooking right now. I ended up actually just using mostly seafood items, but I wanted to leave all these recipes up just in case if you may have not have them unlocked 
or you just wanted to see which recipes I really liked for Remy's building. I really loved the seafood items just because it brought out the red tones in the building, but of course, choose whatever recipes you like the best. So during this point of the video, that's when I started having a lot of table glitch issues. So sadly, none of that footage was able to be saved, but all I did was add decorations of my choosing in front of Remy's. I also cleared a little area for a planter in front of the entrance to the restaurant, which I'm not sure if I like it or not. I might end up removing that, but um, let me know if you liked that detail or not. So the last location that I'm working on today is actually right next to our restaurant. Now, Mickey's house is kind of a placeholder for me because I really wanted this to be the Monsters Inc. home. So if you have it, definitely use that instead because it will really complement all the brick tones that we're using. But I feel like Mickey is a great option if you don't want to spend money on the premium shop and you're looking to just find him a nice place to be at instead of like, you know, the forest. But I'm personally putting all of my cottage homes in the forest of Valor. But I felt like Mickey was a really great option for that kind of scenario. And plus his house was already in here in the beginning of the game. So it's a really nice additional, you know, home and building you can put in the plaza for that really nice townsy look. Over on the left side of Mickey's home, I ended up doing a little yard for our companions. I just thought this was such a cute filler and I liked that it was more space for my natural resources to spawn in as needed. As behind Mickey's home, that's the spot we didn't get to today because I ran out of time, but I'm hoping to do probably just a really simple little garden area. So it's such a small amount of space that I feel like a little sitting area is the best way to go about this. So other than that, the plaza is pretty much done. I mean, that's like the only spot I didn't get to. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope this plaza series brought you some Disney Dreamlight Valley inspiration. Let me know if you're following these two videos to make your valley into a townsy sort of vibe. Before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the absolute world to me. So a huge thank you to Nicole, the Eco 27, Luna Girl, Sarah B, Paige Beatrice, Coma, Ray, Icy Gaming, Jasmine Deem, Jazz, Let's Play K, Baby Blue X016, Luann Marie, Alicia Ramirez, Hannah, Brooke, Rem Crossing, The Breakdown, Els, K Thompson, Tao Games, Claire Mack, Chrissy, Sneaky Fox, Jet, Monica B, Catherine Funk, Sherry Blossom, Javi, Connor Adventure, It's a Girl Crystal, Mickey, Cherry Dot Crossing, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dammy, Cosmont, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.